DIY Dave here bringing you another how-to. In this video I'm going to be working on my 2015 MDX and doing an oil change. I'm also going to show you a really neat trick that I learned over the many oil changes that I've done on how to remove your oil filter with the least amount of mess uh, and keep the oil um, off the floor which is really important. That's probably the worst part of changing the oil is removing that oil filter. Alright, so safety first, right? You want, you want the right tools for this. And so here I have a pair of ramps that I, that I load the car onto. They're really sturdy, they're really strong. I then reinforce it with these jack stands. These are three ton jack stands. And then I chuck the rear of the tire. It's really important to, to make sure that, you know, there's really nothing that can go wrong. This is really, if it comes down, you're, you're, you only have one head and you don't want to be under that when it comes down. And so this is really for safety purposes and making sure that I'm, I feel totally safe while I'm looking at the car. So let's go ahead and take a look underneath the car, and then I can show you where the oil pan is, where the drain plug is, and then we can get cracking. So right here you see the oil pan and the drain plug, as denoted by the engine oil with the arrow pointing to it. What you'll need here is a 17 millimeter wrench, preferably um, a socket wrench, preferably a ratchet wrench, one with a longer handle. The one I'm using has an extendable handle and it actually pivots. Uh, makes it really easy for it to get to tight spaces. Gives me some great leverage as you see here and cracks it right open. So now I'm going to loosen it with my fingertips and my hands. Um, it's really no tension that goes there. What you'll see, it'll start to gush out very quickly. And so you want to be really super careful that you're not doing this with boiling hot oil. Uh, warm oil is good because it's moving the oil around. But as you see here in a second, it's just going to gush right out. It's going to get all over my hands. And if this was boiling hot, uh, my hands would be burned uh, pretty well. And believe me, I've done this before in the past with the motorcycle, and it's not a lot of fun. I did actually did it right before my wedding day, so uh, that wasn't a lot of fun at all. And, and my wedding pictures had red hands everywhere that we uh, took pictures of, and you take a lot of pictures of hands on your wedding day. Uh, so here, really what you do is you just let it drip out, and you kind of drip it out all the way. And So I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to see this. But it's really important to, to let it drip there. Um, and get as much as you possibly can. Let it sit there for a little bit, as long as you can. Go back, uh, and then what we'll do here is you start to then clean it up to make sure that everything is, is nice and tight. Uh, you don't want to get any sediment or any crud in there. And so just give it a wipe, make sure it's good, and then always, always, always um, hand tighten this back. Uh, so the, the method I like to do is I like to go reverse, um, reverse thread for a little bit to line it up, and then I'll thread it and then you'll feel it catch and then hand tighten. And always use a brand new crush washer. Don't save here, don't use the old one, get a new one, use that one. Uh, then when you're done, make sure you, you tighten this up with the wrench and you torque it up to the proper settings. Uh, what I like to do is just take it and I tighten it, I crush the washer, and it's pretty much done. All right, so now we're gonna move over to the oil filter and removing the oil filter. Um, I actually find that this one's really, really accessible. I actually like the way it is. I don't have to contort to get to it. This is located right under the passenger side or the passenger side front wheel. Um, not under it, but to the side of it, as you can see here. It's really easy to get to. Um, as long as you don't tighten it, over tighten it, put it on, you can pretty much get it off by your hand. And so here's where my bag trick comes in. Uh, this is the trick I wanted to show you. I take a shopping bag and I really get it up in there, I wrap it around. I take my time to make sure it's lined up properly. Um, you want to get the, the ends of the bag or the necks of the bags really behind the, the oil filter manifold where it's holding it down. And you want to align it properly so it's, it's above it, it hugs it. And what you're going to do here is you're going to use that bag to catch the oil that comes out of the filter. Um, what happens here is the oil will come out and it goes all over the place because there's a bunch of stuff under there. The oil spills out on your frame, it spills out on the chassis, it spills out on the floor. I do have a drip pan that I do use, but it spills out everywhere. And that's why I use this bag trick. It really helps contain all the oil. As you can see here, I spin it, I make sure its tension is being held up on top of the loops. I'll spin it off, it'll come right off and all that oil will fall right into the bag. Uh, so I do want to point out, make sure when you get a bag that the bag doesn't have holes, so you might want to do a blow test. I'll blow it up like a balloon, make sure there's no holes in there. Um, I have had that happen too, so I've learned my lesson, I check every single one. But once you're done there, you see it's a really clean, um, no mess, and what I love is there's no mess all over the chassis, I don't have to do a lot of cleaning up. All I have to do is take a paper towel here, just wipe this down, make sure that there's no gasket that's stuck to it, remove the gasket if it is. Uh, that could be dangerous and hazardous if you do leave that on, so always clean it, make sure it's silver and shiny and nice and clean, and you get it prepped for putting it on. 
What I like to do is take the new filter and pour some oil directly into the filter. This prevents a cold start. I don't know if it does much, but it just makes me feel good. Uh, then I'll rub some oil around the gasket and, and then I'll just go and install it. Again, I'll reverse thread it until it locks and then, and then I'll thread it in. I'll give it a good until it gets tight and then I'll give it a good half uh, quarter turn um, and, then, and then it's all good to go and then you're, you're pretty much done. Now it's time to clean up your oil and, and get it prepped for recycling. Always important, always recycle your oil. What I like to do here is I, I like to take the uh, quart containers that they came in and I uh, use my drain pan here and I just pour it back in. This actually serves another purpose. It allows me to see how much oil has been burning. And for my car, which is a 2015 MDX, the oil uh, fill requirement is about five and three quarters. Always check your manual to see what your fill requirement is. Um, this is a good gauge for me to see what, what needs to be done, right? Um, how much oil is, is being taken out, how much is burning. So what I expect to see here is the oil to go to the tip top of the container, which tells me it's about five and a half um, quarts. And then all the stuff that's built on the, on the on below and then what came out of the filter, um, it's a good sign. This is showing that it's going right to the tippy top and it's very healthy, which is what I like to see. You know, I, I do this because, um, you know, by the time it takes me to get to the, any shop to to do an oil change, I can actually do this a lot quicker. It took me a little bit more time because I was trying to record this, but I, I can get this done in under 10 minutes uh, fairly easily. And a day like today, I'm gonna do all the fluids, and so um, it really is worth it. I'm gonna start changing the differential, I'm gonna change the transmission fluid. Uh, I'll take those videos, I'll post it. So if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and get notified. It's a great way to keep current, keep up to date, all the stuff I'm gonna bring you. And that's really the point of my channel is to show people that they can do it themselves. So I hope to see you again and I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy DIYing!